month of March. So I'd like the record to show that all the commissioners are present. Uh, one thing I'll announce if anybody is here for the uh, rezone um, on Miramar Road, they have uh, cold their rezone requirements. So if anybody's here for that, that is no longer on the agenda. <clears throat> First item on our, uh, excuse me, this is our informational meeting. So how we operate is in a split meeting format. This is the, the meeting where we'll get all the information from the applicant. We'll have them come up, present the information. The board will ask questions of the applicant. Um, then the applicant will sit down. The board will have a small discussion. We'll open it up to the audience. If anybody in the audience would like to speak in favor of the proposal, then if anybody would like to speak against the proposal, and if necessary, a short rebuttal from the applicant. Um, then what we do is we come, we uh, adjourn for two weeks. We come back in two weeks and make our decision. That being said, that's not by ordinance. So if anything on tonight's agenda, we feel we can act on tonight, we will act on tonight. First item on the agenda is to review and approve the plan commission minutes uh, from March 20th. And I spoke, I misspoke earlier, this is April 2nd, not March 2nd. So uh, he issued with the minutes from March 20th meeting. We have a motion to approve. Do we have a second? So I'll second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Next item on the agenda is a conditional use amendment for Lake View Lake Yacht Club and 9220 East Shore Road, uh, parcel PEP 9000001A. Is uh, there someone here from the Yacht Club? Yeah. 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 So, not much of a presentation, but um, we provided you guys with a plan. Um, essentially, what we're looking to do is just put a patio out in front of the club. And um, we've been working with the county for the last couple months to um, come up with a plan that would be approvable through what with there and in case down there. And um, so we think we're there. So this is our first step so we can check the box, essentially. And um, we're really not looking for any changes to, way, to the way we operate. Just, uh, just to provide some hard space. I mean, we've got some tables and chairs out there now that sit in the grass. Just want some space in the center. Sure. Oh, I'm sorry. Could you just take the name for the uh, Ron Jarecki? Thank you. Mm -hmm. It's a, it's in the uh, agenda. So. <coughs> uh, any questions for the applicant from commissioners? So the only work that's being done is basically this orange dotted line around the uh, The orange dotted line is actually the erosion control. Um, it's the shaded area around the structure. Okay. Uh, it's kind of like sort of the gray shaded area sort of outlined in pink. So it's about 15 feet off the building, which, um, you know, when the club was built in 2000, that space was sort of left. We sort of set club back so that would be um, available for some future expansion. So, so here we are. Okay. Any other questions for the applicant? Uh, so with regard to expanded hours for special events as stated in the plan of operations, how many special events would we have? Um, so yeah, so we're not asking for expanded hours. Um, what that is is just repeating the same verbiage that's on the existing uh, on the existing operating um, uh, conditional use. So that's, you know, verbatim what's in the county's records in terms of what our hours are. Yeah. So and we then, just repeated it. And so basically the same hours. And then the nature of the use of the patio is it just eating and eating and drinking? It's, and yeah, I mean, we don't really have a service. There's, you know, we're not, you know, I would say open where you're, there, there's no service out there. It's just, you know, for the members to have a place to sit that's not in the parking lot or in the lawn. So um, you know, all I can say is like just to continue what we're normally doing just to, to make a capital improvement. What is the normal? Is this just summer or do you have to? It's just summer, yes. Okay, so that would be from when to when? Uh, I would say from May 1st to October 31st. Um, I think the county is, is putting that in their, um, they just sent me an email, so they'll, they'll be putting that in their um, wording. So this is a continuation of how 
hours that, uh, that you already had? It's exactly the same. I brought a copy of what our... I, I was just going to ask yep. if, if, you, if this is a continuation, how many special events did you have last year? Maybe um, a special event might be something like a wedding or something if, if it gets rented out. Uh, there might have only been one or two. But that, um, that's the instance when you request the open for a Correct. Midnight. And then at that moment, we would be coming here for a permit for that, for that special event. So permitted separately. Okay. Other questions for the applicant? Um, well, we, uh, <laughs> I don't know if all of them have approved it, but uh, so we're, we've been talking, we've been building traction for it. This is something that we're trying to move towards. And as a board, we're sort of uh, just trying to get all the pieces in place so we can move forward with membership because after membership approves, then we have to discuss how we pay for it and that sort of thing. So um, right now it seems to be a consensus that this is what the membership wants. And, um, you know, so we're, we're acting on it. How many members do you have in the, in the last one? 180 households. 180 households. There you go. Did you have something else, Yeah, so, so it's just, so it's the permeable pavers, the patio area. I see some blue, some purple, some parking stalls, travel parking, which is right. all existing. Okay, so yes, the parking stalls are on there because the county was counting parking stalls to make sure we have adequate parking stalls for the square footage. So um, we would actually add a few parking stalls in back near the existing shed. Um, you can see, uh, there's a black line that runs where the existing gravel is right now, and it would be adding the last row of parking and a drive space so you can get in and out of the parking. That's just, you know, adding a few more gravel spots. Uh, just to... Six, six more? Um, it depends on how you count it. Yes, the actual space is six more, but because of the driving lane, we can reconfigure and we actually gain more than six. And then what about the, the Google Play transport that's all existing? That's all, yeah, yeah, everything else is existing. Correct, yeah, the only thing that's changing is, <coughs> is the patio. Um, so you mentioned like in that lower right here, the, the salt there, all that's already gravel, you're just configuring it um, as it's laid out? Can you see the black line that runs through? I can. Okay, so that's where the gravel runs up to now. So you'll so. add gravel to accommodate those additional. Correct. Yep. Yeah. yeah. And that's, you know, not because we were looking for it, the county just required it. And through working with them, just decided that was the space that works because that's back past 300 feet from the lake. And, and that gives that's you, where it fits. And that gives you the capacity to. It gives us more than 50 it. to 125. Yep. It gives us more than the capacity we need. So we just sort of filled in that space a little bit. Okay. Any other questions? All right, thank you. Just quick discussion amongst commissioners. When I first saw it, my concern was high water setback. They're beyond the high water setback. They're outside of the road uh, right away. Um, it's impervious, it's an impervious surface. Um, those were my concerns and all of them are it's existing conditional use. I just know from Doc said they have to have updated conditional use to have the outside done. So, any other discussion amongst commissioners? All right, I'd open up the audience. Would anybody in the audience like to speak in favor of the proposal? Would anybody like to speak against? Oh, sorry, go ahead, John. Again, please say your name and sure. address for the record. John Sellers, North Bay Living Water Service Radio. Um, I am in support of what the Yacht Club is um, applying for here. Uh, I have two questions, like, um, do they plan any additional uh, phases down the road that complement what they're doing here? Um, 
is there any um, thought like on how much money they plan on spending on this project? Um, I like to see all the businesses on Lake do good. Obviously, people that know me know that I'm pro business on the on the lake here, and I'm supporting uh, what the Yacht Club's trying to do here. I just want to make sure that if other business owners come down, they're afforded the same professional courtesy to see that you guys are going to afford these guys here. So as long as we're talking apples to apple and everything's fair, I think we should support them and let them uh, uh, put their patty away. That's all I'll say is phases. We don't see any other phases on this drawing. If there is another phase, they'd have to come back to us. Okay. And uh, I guess it's not really our concern how much money they're going to spend on this. Just for your two. Well, I'm just, I'm curious, it's none of my business what they're going to spend. I'm just wondering, do they have like additional phases where they want to do more? Um, do they plan on opening it up to the public possibly, or is it going to be certain members only? It's just kind of weird things. We don't have a lot of spots left on the lake where you can come down, sit down, have a beer with them, and drink the water. So that's Understood. all. All right. Anybody else in the audience like to speak in favor of the proposal? Or anybody like to speak against the proposal? All right. Um, again, I kind of said my piece on it. It seems pretty straightforward. They've got civil engineering. They've got it laid out well. I think it's something we can act on tonight unless anybody feels they have to go put their eyes on it or... How long is it to take to do the rest of the engineering? I mean, you said that engineering requirements and come back and review it or is that something... Well, they have to renew their conditional use. Um, I'm not exactly sure how often that is. I apologize, um, but their their existing existing conditional use. They're not going beyond those hours. They're not increasing capacity. They're not. All they're really asking us for is yeah, exterior seating. You know, I I think the. The current operating conditional use sort of covers how we're using it, um, you know. So I, I think from our perspective, we're just turning some grass into some pavers. Right. Yeah. The conditional use goes out. Especially just specifically in the variance checklist, you need property limitations, unnecessary hardship, the harm to public interest, and that's from County Board of Adjustment. So that that's that's perfect. That's the one thing. Obviously, this capital letters. So it jumped out at me 
but that especially, you know, we always refer back to, oh, what are the three things that we used to now get to know them before they even come in. But I, I think this is perfect. I did add a little, and that, that came really straight out of the template. I did right. add some verbiage around, I think, being able to see, you know, impervious surface and things. Because um, we, we tend to, that came up too. Mm -hmm. so that was just a conditional use, especially with the core lines of the sheet. Okay. Anybody else have any comments or feedback? And way more helpful than the previous uh, application. Right, correct, correct. It just kind of helps frame the. the this is what you mean. Yeah. Is there any uh, requirement that they must provide this data? I mean, that's not how it's really worded. So right. You know, it's just really, and I don't know if they would want to require it. Like if, if, if someone felt that someone didn't complete that or didn't offer that, we can always, I think we can always ask for it. That, I mean, it just helps that they move things along. Mm -hmm. So what's interesting is public health. Stomps their feet and says, No, I hate this application form. Yeah, I, didn't, I, I think didn't, we put it, we implement it. I didn't know if, if we did need to act on it or if the board needs to act on it or. or I, could, I don't think so. I guess I'm not 100% on that, but um, it's it's more clerical amongst us. It's not like we're changing the ordinance, we're changing the law, even changing the procedure per se. It's more of a helpful piece of information that we're handing to the public. And we're not applying any required. Yeah. Right. right. So it's just guidelines, information. This is what we need to make our decision. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So that's where you get that. Again, it's not that we're changing an ordinance or anything like that. It's like, if you want our approval, really? this is really going to help you. It's a set of additional instructions. Yeah. Right. Uh, yeah. you, you did have highlighted the one um, statement about A1 rezones. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, so I didn't really know how to word that, but those get pretty <coughs> tricky, right? We, <laughs> so, um, you know, a lot of times you have a lot of discussion around that, and there's, there's specific rules around those A1 rezones. I didn't know if we wanted to, you know, consider adding some detail. On the edge, real particular rule and I there. guess I'd rather not. I mean, it's, it's not really up to us to do their research for them. Yeah. If they want to do something to A1, they can look up the, the zoning code and then decide. Obviously, we're sensitive to A1, but I don't know that we have to put that in our application that A1 is very sensitive to the water or anything like that. So, I know there's, it's the, there, there's the, the county uh, zoning allows for. Certain rules around carve outs for, for like a single family home carve out. Right. And so, yeah, so that I, might I get, it would get pretty wordy. Yeah, right. right. <laughs> Reference uh, former county zoning short on ordinances. Yeah. 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 Any other discussion on the matter? Any other business amongst commissioners? I think the motion is adjourned. Do we have a second? I'll second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye.